There is some uh, festival going on in the back, so you may hear some music. But nonetheless, let's move on with what is called multi-strata agroforestry. There are many ways of doing agroforestry where you just mix uh, crops with uh, forests. Uh, also, we will see later on something called silvo pasture, where we mix trees with uh, grazing of cattle. But nonetheless, all agroforestries try to ex uh, exploit the fact that trees have deep roots and they are not immediately affected by droughts, like uh, meteorological droughts or agricultural droughts, and they can uh, improve many uh, uh, properties or bring many benefits as we will see. In terms of ranking by 2050, it stands at 28 with 9.28 gigatons of uh, reduced CO2 expected and the net cost is at $26.8 billion, but the benefits net savings are at $709.8 billion. All these numbers are uh, uh, obviously produced using a model, which means uh, projections always have assumptions and and there are uncertainties, but nonetheless, uh, the idea of cost versus savings is very important one, especially when it comes to no regret uh, solutions. Uh, so, other so far, other than waste to energy and nuclear, everything we have considered can be uh, considered as no regret uh, solutions, despite the various uh, debates involved and uh, under uncertainties in the costs and benefits. Okay, here is an example. This image shows part of Fazenda de Toca, a 5,700-acre farm managed by Pedro Diniz in uh, Itir Itirapina, Brazil. I don't know how it's said, how it's pronounced. Employing regenerative farming, which means the soil uh, properties are enhanced with carbon, nutrients, erosion reduction, uh, etc. Uh, and agroforestry practices, the Denise family has created the Institute TOCA, which offers education and training in agroecology. The program is based on the teachings of Ernst Gotsch, uh, one of the world's leading experts in agroforestry. By creating an agricultural system that mimics the forest, they have been able to regenerate sandy dirt into rich loam create in-farm uh, fertility without the use of compost or manure and greatly increase water retention. So all those are part of the regenerative approaches of farming. So you can see this multi-strata here. So trees are prominent and then they are mixed with uh, horticulture, spices, vegetables, crops and so on. And trees can also be chosen in a way that they bring some income uh, as well as uh, furniture trees, as timber, as uh, uh, various other things. And they provide protection against winds in regions like Africa and India. They also act as live fence against cattle from wandering in and destroying crops and uh, other things. Uh, they, of course, uh, reduce evaporative losses of soil moisture, increase uh, soil uh, moisture persistence, enhance drought resilience, they enhance carbon sequestration, in the soil uh, and so on. So there are many uh, benefits of agroforestry. So increased agricultural productivity, reducing hunger and poverty, women empowerment, supporting biodiversity, enriched soil and water availability, pest control, especially when uh, trees are chosen properly, contracting global warming, resilience and microclimate regulation, recreation and health, animal well-being and meat quality. Okay, um, here is a figure uh, that shows uh, uh, from an encyclopedia of agriculture and uh, food systems, I think, uh, but you can see the references from where this figure comes from. This is a principal ways that forest trees contribute to improved food security, incomes and livelihoods. Uh, so trees can be picked to be forest trees, uh, uh, fertilizer trees or just shade trees, uh, timber trees and so on and so forth. So planting fodder trees uh, goes through various pathways like byproducts, 
improved growth, health and reproduction, increased milk uh, and meat production, reduced vulnerability to drought and so on to bring improved uh, food security and incomes and livelihoods as well as enhanced resilience against drought and climate warming and extreme events and so on. So here are some uh, numbers on global distribution and area under different agroforestry system subgroups. So you can see we are looking at multi-strata system. There are three intercropping, silvopasture we will look at, protective systems, agroforestry woodlots. Okay, so these are the major agroforestry practices in terms of home gardens, shaded perennials, so they are, are not annuals that you don't have to plant again and again, alley cropping, uh, windbreaks, uh, boundary plant planting, uh, firewood and fodder land reclamation. So there are approximate areas in tropical and temperate regions. Uh, so the distribution of climates is shown here which I won't read through but you can see various ranges of temperature, humidity, rainfall, uh, could be arid, semi-arid and coastlands and so on and so forth. So total of uh, 1250 million hectares in the tropical regions and 350 million hectares in temperate regions. Uh, this is especially uh, important for also uh, industrial scale farming of hundreds if not thousands of acres in countries like uh, the US. Um, overall impact Multi-strata agroforestry can be integrated into some existing agricultural systems. Uh, those can be converted or restored to uh, agroforestry, multi-strata in this case, if adopted on another 46 million acres by 2050, from 247 million acres uh, currently to 9.3, um, so sorry, if adopted on another 46 million acres by 2050 from the current 247 million acres, then 9.3 gigatons of carbon dioxide could be sequestered. Average sequestration rate of 2.8 tons of carbon per acre per year is strong, as is the financial return. 710 billion dollars in net profit by 2050 on an investment of just 27 billion dollars. Okay, amazing. Good, no regret solution with many benefits.